Leah. This is my son Aaron. He's three years old. We're about to play the piano wizard. Okay. As you see my son and I going on the journey of playing the piano wizard, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about who I am and what piano wizard is doing for my bond with my son. You know, I've been, I was born without arms and legs and throughout my life I have been blessed with the ability to live fully and exceeding the, exceed the expectations that most people would have of someone without arms and legs. And when I found out that I was pregnant and had the ability to give life to another human being, it was one of my greatest accomplishments. Up to that point, I had done a lot. I had gone to college, I lived away from home independently, I bought a house, I got married, I learned to drive, I had worked in the corporate world and the public sector. And I am very proud of those accomplishments. But I think one of my proudest accomplishments has been giving birth to my son. Because it leaves another legacy for me in a way that helps express the values that I would like him to emulate. And I pray that I can raise my son to be pure of heart and be of service to others with love at the forefront of his mind and hearts, intentions. Piano Wizard is giving us an opportunity to bond in a different way. It's, there are a lot of things I won't be able to do with my son, such as throw the ball around, kick, kick the ball around, or um, just do a lot of arts, simple arts and crafts. There's a lot I cannot do with and for my son. But by having the piano wizard, it really gives us an opportunity to bond on a different level. I hope that you can see the closeness that my son and I have and being a mom, as a mother, you really want to be the one to nurture and be there for your child. And given that I have no arms and legs. There are just some things that I couldn't do and I had to surrender a lot when he was born. It, I couldn't change his diaper. I couldn't pick him up when he was crying. I couldn't burp him. There's a lot of things that I couldn't do and it kind of worried me to wonder how our bond would develop not being able to fulfill a lot of the motherly duties. And I can say, as you can see from our relationship, that we have bonded in a way that transcends all of the physical nurturing that a mother and son have for each other. And I know that he knows at a deeper level how much I love him. Not because of everything I do for him, but simply because of love. And I think that's one of the most pure examples of love is when a child can love their mom for the sake of loving them and because they feel their mom's love for them regardless of the physical abilities. So I invite you and hope that you enjoy seeing our journey growing together our bond as mother and son. And I hope that this can be a good example of love in one part of the world that will hopefully ripple out. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, I did it! Yeah. Okay, here comes yours. You ready? Here it comes when it's the green line. Ninety-four.
94 cent, 94 percent together. Yeah, let's 